All right, good morning, day two. Got my coffee made, can't see it. It's about 5.15. Gonna go to that glassing point. When I'm done with this, or when nature calls one of the two. And um, hopefully we see something moving before they get bedded. And if not, we gotta climb that mountain. Uh, I slept okay. Toss and turn, it was a sleeping bag. It's all clammy on my legs, but other than that, the Subaru worked out just fine. All right, see you guys at daylight. All right, so I'm back at the car. I got a, <laughs> I got a email notification saying my tire pressure was low. And I was looking at it this morning, and I was like, huh, it did look a little flat. So sure enough, like remember, email notification telling me my tire pressure is low. I mean, look at that. At least it's in a, far enough in where I can just plug it, but. <sighs> Man. All right, so the nearest gas station is 20 minutes away. Um, I'm gonna go back to my glassing spot and probably hang out till like noon, maybe 11, 11, 11 o'clock. I don't see anything by 11. Come back, pack everything up, drive to the gas station, put this out and plug it. Cause like I said, it's far enough into the tire or it's not on the edge. So it should be okay to plug, but I can't be having a flat like this on these roads. I literally was on two wheels. I don't know if I said this yesterday. I was on two wheels at one point coming to this spot. So I'm gonna need all my tires to be at their best. <laughs> All right, 7.45, been glassing for about an hour. Haven't seen anything move yet. And, you know, all this stuff starts running through your head. Am I on the right side? Because, like I said, there's this mountain right next to me. Are they on the other side? You know, what side are they on? Because this mountain, we'll call it a mountain, about 4,000 feet elevation right now. This mountain to my left is facing, facing west. So sunset, it gets blasted, all right? But sunrise, it's in it's in the shade the entire morning, which means the deer could possibly be on the other side and then, you know, they'll move to this side. I don't know. All the stuff starts running through your head. But I'm in an extremely good glassing spot. I found out there's another lake, like right near me. Like or it's a pond. It's like a it's like a farm pond, but it's big enough, there's cows, so I have one lake two miles away and a pond, a good sized pond a mile and a half away. So I'm in a I'm in a pretty good spot, at least it seems like it. Saw a little bit of scat yesterday, nothing major, but all this stuff starts running through your head. Do I sit? Do I move? But for Western hunters, you know, like, our, our skills come from glassing, unfortunately. So in reality, just, just, you just gotta sit your ass down and stay where you're at. <laughs> but I'm staring at this ridge right here. And also for Western hunters, at least down here in the southern part of the country, southwestern part of the country, you wanna focus on south westerly facing ridges for whatever reason. That's what I've read and heard from a bunch of people. Nothing yet though. Um, if I do see something, I'll do my best to have you guys see something. I don't want that mistake to happen like it happened last time where, you know, take my eyes off it, get the camera so you can see it and then I lose it. But probably stay here till about 10, 11 o'clock and then go fix that stupid tire issue. Man, rough. Okay, it's enough talking. All right, it's been another hour. Still haven't seen anything. As I'm sitting here glassing, I was thinking like, how do you glass? And I always, you know, I've looked at videos just like everyone else, like, what's the best method for glassing? And I've come to the realization that I guess it matters on the time of day. So right now, um, I'm kind of glassing fast, if you will. Like I'm covering a lot of land with my eyeballs and looking everywhere to see if I can see anything moving. I'm doing that because I'm expecting things to be moving. Like middle of the day, where you know deer don't typically I slow down my glassing and I focus on the shaded areas because I know they're going to be bedded. Just a little quick plug. thought that was quite interesting. And um, yeah, but nothing yet. So, hot tip, glassing tips. <laughs> Mid morning update. It's about to be 10 o'clock. The thermals have officially shifted. Hot air is blowing up. Oh, I'm hoping that it'll force some of these deer that could be on this hillside to get up and start moving down a little bit. Haven't seen anything yet. I keep telling myself maybe I should move, but I know I'm in a good location. I mean, I have to be. I saw scat, like I said, a week or two old maybe. I have two very good water sources right nearby. Um, I don't see a reason to move, but after I plug that tire, I'll probably climb this mountain. It looks like there's a deer trail up there. 
and just get a different um, glassing area so I could see more. So, okay, that's all for now. All right, it's about that time. <sighs> Class for what? Four hours, four and a half hours? Didn't see a goddamn thing. Didn't see a coyote either. Now I'm gonna go pack up the car two degree drive to the gas station that's about 20 30 minutes away plug this tire eat some lunch come back and climb that some bitch right there I'll climb that and then go all the way to the end peek over also see what's on the other side I don't know I don't know I don't know, I don't know. maybe deer are here maybe they're not maybe that poops older than I thought just I just can't get in my head that they're not here because of the water. I know you don't make your assumptions like that, but when there's water, especially in Southern California, there's normally deer nearby. So I don't know. I don't know. A lot of I don't knows today. Okay. Keep you guys updated. Hopefully the tire holds up going through, going through and over this rough ass stuff we have to go through again that we came up on. Oh, get lost. All right. Check in with you. Check in with you guys. And, uh, I guess we get to the gas station. We are riding on rim right as we get to the gas station. I don't know if I should have changed it to the spare, but then I don't know if the spare would have popped by going off-road. I just need to find some air. Well, that's where we're at. Dead, dead. Hopefully I could plug in and we could fill it, but I don't know now. Well, hunting trip over. I wonder if I should have changed, I probably should have changed it when I hit the main road. I don't know if that was there or not already. Knowing that's at zero, probably. <sighs> it sucks. All right, let's get this spare on, figure some shit out. Well, that blows. You know, you look forward to something so long and something like this happens and it's not even throwing a wrench in it. I mean, I don't know where the closest discount tire or Evan's tire is or anything, but it's like, like morally deva uh, devastating, devastating, morally devastating. It sucks ass. That's what I'm trying to say. Fuck, man. All right. Well, I don't know what else there is. So this could be goodbye. Oh, side note, my brand new BMX 52 Igloo cooler, the plug, like it doesn't thread in. So I just popped, like it popped right out. I was trying to unscrew it to let some water out to put in my uh, Yeti, a little portable Yeti. And it just completely, yeah, just completely pulled out. And it has threads on the end of it, but there's nowhere to thread into on the inside. So, fuck, man. So now I got to get a new plug for my brand new BMX 52 Igloo cooler. All right, y'all. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. All right, guys. To end a incredibly disappointing, what, two days, I guess? We're at the range. We're going to take four shots. I got a new tire. I'll talk about that in a second. So we're gonna take a shot at 20, 30, 40, and 50. And hypothetically, these are the shots I would have taken if I saw a deer, which we didn't. So let's see if I would have killed something. All right, first one's 20. Got a dead deer. 30. Might have a dead deer. 40. I think we missed. Alright, going for the 50, going forward top, top right. There's a big black circle top right. Just so when we go down, you know what I was aiming at. Oh, I fucked that up, I already know. Also, if you're wondering, 
I had the quiver on and the arrows in there still have the broadheads on it, so I'm not shooting those. All right, let's check it out. 20, dead deer. 30 is definitely a different story. Damn, dude, I don't get it. I'm shooting high. I'm shooting high constantly. That might have missed. This definitely missed. And I already knew 50 was fucked up. God dang. Oops, sorry, I got kids watching. Okay, gotta stop dropping out bombs. I already knew this was messed up. <sighs> I'm trying to get worried. Like, you know, when you have everything all set, and then uh, you go to the range, you go to the range, and everything's shooting high. Especially on a single pin where, where like, there's the pre yardage mark. It has to be me. It has to be. So, I'm gonna keep shooting. Here, let me show you the tire, then we'll keep shooting. All right, so there's a new tire, matches the other ones. Same size, obviously, and dirty now from this dirt road. All right, so I went to Evan's Tire Shop, and uh, hey, these people tried to charge me $200 for one tire with service and everything. Went to Olive Tire Shop in Vista, 60 bucks, installation, everything. So Olive Tire Shop Vista, shout out. All right, that's enough, enough of this video. Thanks for sticking with me. Shit sucked today and yesterday, and um, you guys know the drill. Drop a like, drop a comment, click subscribe, and let's show them what San Diego is all about. Oh, also, side note, you guys can hunt BLM. I know the National Forests are closed, and I keep seeing private property, but go hunt BLM. BLM's everywhere. There's tons of BLM down here. Go find it and hunt it. It's your land, you know what I'm saying? So preserve that shit, preserve that shit, and go hunt. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Another quick, quick plug-in at the end of the video. Uh, so real quick, yes, I am still giving away stickers. If you harvest a deer in California with a bow, any type of bow, not a crossbow though, any type of, I don't know, non-mechanical, combat, whatever. You guys know what I'm saying, a bow, not a crossbow. Uh, I will send you a free sticker, okay, so that's still going on. We were about to hit 300 subscribers, so my partner, Leo Optics, we're gonna be giving away one free item from their entire website, shipped free, um, and we'll do like a little, like whatever competition or something like that, and do random comment generator or something like that. Um, okay, so why didn't I go back after getting my tire fixed? So the closest tire shop to the area I was in was about an hour away, and that was like a legit tire shop. I could have gone back. It was just super disheartening. By that time in the day, it was a full day of scouting. I hadn't seen a deer, and I, I know what that sounds like. Oh my God, you didn't see a deer in a day and you give up. It just wasn't like that. It was just, I guess it kind of was like that. I was, I don't know. I just got frustrated, I guess. Maybe I should have stayed, who knows, but. I do know that where the area is now and someone was kind enough to hit me up. They knew where I was and they said, hey, you were in a good area. You just should have gone this way a little bit. So thank you for telling me that, by the way. I really do appreciate that. Which segues it. If you know where I'm at, man, like, then you know where I'm at. That doesn't mean everyone knows where I'm at. I'm not giving away your secret hunting spot because I found it on my own. It's public land, guys. It's public land. It happens all the time. Yes, I'm gonna, yes, I'm gonna keep filming my hunts. And then if someone does recommend a spot to go to, then I will not, I'll be very discreet of my filming. You know what I'm saying? But situations like this, when I find something on my own, I'm gonna keep doing it. So just put that in there at the end. All right, guys, that's all she wrote. As at the making of this video, national forests are still closed. Yes, you can help hunt public land. People, so many people are focused on private land these days, but there's a lot of BLM in California. I've looked, I looked all over California. There's a good amount. Some areas suck, obviously, but there's a good amount. You just can't have open flames. Um, and then Camp Pendleton hunting, it's going good. Lima area is created um, officially for maps. So you can find a Lima area map on there now, but if you have Onyx, you're fine. And secondly, on Camp Pendleton, you can only hunt on weekends. I don't put that in the video, so. Camp Pendleton, you can only hunt on weekends. If you made it this far, awesome. Uh, drop a TLO. If you made it this far in the video, drop a TLO, and I'll send you a free sticker as well. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Yeah. <laughs>